Hello everybody and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here and thanks so much for joining me today. I've actually learned quite a bit about the game in the last couple of days since I recorded my last batch of videos. So today we're going to try to salvage this playthrough and get a little further with this run. We might uh, end up having to start a new run to get very far, but we'll see where it goes. One thing I realized was that in these talent trees, there are permanent buffs to certain classes. So, and there's also really cool things like this right here, Grey Matter. Increases the chance of receiving a brain at the end of battle by 50%. The brains are the items that allow us to instantly level up our characters, so we definitely want to get down to things like this. If we look elsewhere, we have things that are permanent bonuses to things like the Banshee receives plus 8 attack, plus 5 evasion, and plus 2 initiative. And then I believe it's, <clears throat> excuse me, in here that we have a bonus for the Dark Knight. So we want to be working down into these talents that are going to permanently improve the classes. Right now I'm going to work towards getting more brains. The formulae reveal their secrets. And so that'll help us catch up some characters, which with the lack of characters that we have at a decent level, more brains is going to be absolutely vital for us, I think. Uh, things we could use, a one-use item. Let's see... After victory, all minions that survive gain an additional two experience points. Or we begin the battle with 45 wrath. Let's do the experience points. That might help us out. Ah, and we're just going to jump into the battle here with our main squad. I don't like taking him in with this health, but I'm not sure about taking in a level one shade either. And I'm not, I haven't used the lost soul. A lot of its abilities seem kind of uh, if this then that, positive and negative effects. This is the one I don't understand, restores 19 to 23 vigor to target ally. At the start of the next turn attacks the chosen ally and deals 19 to 23 damage. Are we simply gaining health temporarily to immediately lose it again? I don't understand that, so if anyone has any opinions on that ability, I don't think it restores the target to 100% of their health. It says it restores 19 to 23 vigor, and then it attacks for the same amount, so... I don't know what the point of that is. Okay, what do we have? Eek. This is gonna be tough. We have this guy who just has a crap ton of armor and health. We have the Berserker who is going to become very dangerous to us. And then we have an Elite Musketeer who's also going to be incredibly dangerous. So I got to take out this guy, this guy, and hope we can survive long enough to whittle this guy down. I need to burn some of this armor off of him. Impale this wretch! In the meantime, I'm going to focus on getting some damage down on the Berserker. And we want her debuff. As often and wherever we can get it. This has been having a tendency to hit our own allies. I don't want to do that. Let's buff somebody. There we go. Impale this wretch. Ah! 
he's out of position to use his physical attack. I could work on somebody's sanity. We do have a debuff on, and this will give us an additional 11 to 14 if we have, a, if the mummy has a debuff. Let's try it on the musketeer. Well, that's not bad. going awful. I just don't have the ideal party that I would want for. We'll focus on his sanity. Maybe he'll go crazy and start attacking his own people. That would be always welcome. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. Okay, well we could deal physical damage again, but he has a shield. We just need to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that block so we can start dealing some damage to this guy. The Lich and oh, kills an ally. No, we're not going to sacrifice an ally. Let's keep buffing him. Except so. I don't want to do that either. I don't really care for the Lich. He's good for buffing. I would rather have had a Bride with us. I might as well just focus this guy down, I guess. I hope that goes okay. I hope the Musketeer doesn't do too much damage in the meantime. Yikes. Oh, I missed all of these guys. Okay, we don't want to be low on health when he has a smart like that. That's a good stun. up in front, that would be good. There we go. Let's get our health back before we get targeted by this guy. Not too bad. <laughs> there we go. Finally got him to go insane. Negative 10 luck. Pretty good. Okay, I. Oh, uh, well, that was quite a bit of health, though. I was hoping we would kill him off this turn, but he just uh, restored quite a bit of health. And we are pretty slow, initiative-wise, it seems. Just turning that guy insane did not help much. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Maybe I'll crap there we go. Into That's what we want to see. Now you're both insane. Maybe you'll kill each other. Or not. This is an unusual party composition, but 
somehow it seems to be working. I don't want to jinx myself. What are we losing here? Oh, we're losing accuracy. It's not ideal, but we're still hitting, so... She didn't hit. I don't think he's going to miss a buff, so... Okay, good. I think this one is safely in the bag. Let's get all of our health back. If we can end that way, that'd be good. Ah, your frail bodies fail. Nice on new existence. Negative six attack. Hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Seventy-two crit. There we go. Mine All right. Very nice. Very nice. We got a brain. Level four. Perfect. Sure. We need to replace somebody using that. Oh, nice. Level six. Level four. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. I've actually started looking at the bonus stats over here on the left a little bit more than the changes to the ability and kind of thinking about picking the stats that I want the character to have. For this character, I'd love for him uh, to have some resistance. He doesn't need any more accuracy. Some initiative wouldn't be bad, but I think I'm going to go with this just for the resistance. My enemy. Well, not just for, for but primarily for the resistance. Surprise. And then for her, kind of the same thing. I'd, I'd uh, like her to start with a block. Serve me well, my minion. And for this guy, I guess uh, I want to get his accuracy up to a hundred percent. I expect. So I'm going to do that. And that's kind of how I've been approaching these talents, is kind of looking at the trait that we're going to gain and going that way. <laughs> we need to also open this up a bit more. It's going to be pretty important to do that. And we need a wraith. Just a wraith, I think. La Paz is signed. Let's hope there was no fine print. <laughs> Built on a foundation of bone. And that way we can uh, start getting more than one person healed up at a time. Otherwise it gets hard to assemble a decent party. Let's see what we can do here. Yikes. That's not looking good. I don't like that at all. We do have access to a couple of different units here uh, that I'll show you guys. My favorites are the Blood Phantasm. A rare example of a, of a naturally occurring undead. Some even put forth theories that these are actually some kind of aggressive blood elemental and write many an arcane thesis defending their position. In reality, these phantoms are born from a single desire, revenge. Revenge against those that killed them, which in this case is usually Aratus. But it is not too difficult to distort their perception of reality, make them see the form they hate most imposed over your enemies, applying a few bindings to keep them from harming fellow minions, and they become splendid servants. Aratus takes special delight in the fact that they will spend an eternity haunted by his visage. And these guys have a good mix of physical attacks, and magic attacks and they like to be in the second or third spots ideally the second so they can use their impale kind of an interesting class they have a way to do some healing if they take direct damage they have a way to they can go into a stance where if they take direct damage they can spread that out as a heal to the party i'm gonna make one of these guys 
We are much alike, you and I. Because I know you that's something that I will experiment us. with. I'm actually gonna make two so that I can open up another spot in the med Angry? in the medical bay. Good. The I medical bay. The mortuary. Let's throw him in here. Unholy mystery. There we go. And now we can uh we can get three people in there at once. Which is gonna be integral. Now I also wanted to create uh, another bride. Uh, a design from my younger years. And we're gonna go ahead and use this to get her up to speed. I am gonna she has so much accuracy, I'm gonna go ahead and grab increased attack. Get back to battle. I am going to just I think I'm just gonna pile up on attack here for now. Serve me well, my minion. As far as one-off consumables, we should probably toss one of these in. This would be a good save our ass button. Allows well, Eratus to use skull fall in combat. I think that does a ton of damage. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. I want to keep well, our current people alive, so let's equip that. I need to spend one more. Let's go ahead. Now prove yourself. And give her the armor. My investment. This guy. I don't know about the shade. Another another character that I haven't really used very much. He seems to be okay in this position. Sort of. Okay, let's let's go with this and just see what he can do, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go this way so we can grab the mana. Okay, what should we grab here? I think I'm honestly just gonna grab another Bride. They have very high attack power and their ultimate, when they consume rage, they hit everybody in the enemy party with a crit, so. Kind of invaluable. I probably want her there, actually. All right. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and have her buff up. And then we want to get these Berserkers down. I'm assuming we have an Elite Oracle. This is going to be a healer or ca and caster. The Flamethrower guy, he is gonna be throwing fire, so... Everybody's important to get down, but... Have a warm end, my we're gonna, friend. We're gonna focus these guys up front. It might be okay to drive one of them insane. Although they have quite a resistance to that. Any damage received is doubled. Well, I don't like that. See, let's put him in the stance. All successful attacks against your minions cause the attacker to take stress damage equal to 100% of the damage dealt. Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah. I could tolerate that. And he's just gonna hit them for stress damage every time they hit somebody? Um, yes. Let's start wearing the front guys down here. Savor these last few. Excellent crit, beats. zombie. Excellent crit. That's why I brought you. Regeneration. Yeah, we don't want any of that. Uh, let's see. Keep working on that with you. Sometimes, if you get the berserkers to go insane, they will whirlwind through their own party and kill somebody. So. Not a bad tactic. However, let's just go ahead and finish this one off if we can. So, there we go. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks nice. like. Now he's insane. Yeah. Pathetic. If we're lucky, he'll start attacking his own guys. 
Uh, I am going to set you on fire. Have a warm end, my friend. I can't put him in that stance right now because he's not in the right position. Let's swap positions with her. And she gets a buff for evasion. Could help her out. Since any damage she takes is doubled right now. I really want to get this guy down if he's not going to do anything crazy. She does extra damage to women, but we got a block back here that I haven't gotten rid of yet, so... I'm just going to keep working on this guy. Who is probably going to die with his next burn tick. Oh no, he regen some health, so... Not at all. Not that lucky. We can put him back into this stance if we want. Or we can do something like this. Deals damage equal to 60% of the sanity the target is missing. He is ripe for that. One oh, by one. 126. Vanishes okay. From this world. I see what this guy is for. We reduce their sanity and then he sweeps him with that and just annihilates them physically. That's pretty nifty. I need another rear line operator, so I like that. Okay, we need to... Well, maybe we'll just take this guy out first and save the priest for last. It's kind of counterintuitive, but she's got a lot of defenses built up now. This guy does too. I'd probably do this again. Amazing that, uh, well, he lit us all on fire, I guess. Oh, there we go, insanity. Pretty good. Pretty good. I guess he can do bombardment now. That's about all he can do in this position. about her going down. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Good at Mr. That evasion help. Blow them to pieces. I was hoping more would take down her block, honestly. This one voided its bowels just. There we go. That's gonna help us, I hope. She wants. Oh, she's out of there. Hey, that worked out pretty well, actually. She could have probably killed somebody if she just stuck around and tried really hard, but uh, I'm happy that she didn't. So there's that. Okay, let's take a look at who we got healed up now. And then who needs to go in? Basically, you need to go in, you need to go in. Spend your point when you come out. Okay, so you can go back here. Yeah, living life without a tank. Not too great. Uh, yeah, I am going to. I am going to give you this. Because you need it. I expect results. 
My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. There we go. I feel okay with that. The shade kind of worked. I think I'd rather have the Banshee since she's healed up. And I don't want two level ones in the party, primarily. Uh, what else? What else? We don't have enough talent points to get anywhere useful. Wraith receives one block and one ward. That's something else we need. Oh, no, well, we don't really use the Wraith that much. We use the Banshee more. Okay, we can't get down to any of these right now. Well, we didn't use an item at all, did we? That was a loss. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll grab something that's actually just going to be used up right away. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Let's go up here and we can refill Erotus' mana. Which I think is basically empty. And let's go ahead and do one more battle. Might make for a long episode. I think it'll be okay. I feel like two battles is a good... Two battles and some base stuff is pretty good. Uh, what do we got here? Pretty standard stuff for the dwarves. I'm just going to lower all their attack right off. Actually, I want to get rid of... Impale this wreck. Get rid of his block right away. And that... Extinction of life. Debuff them all. Always good when it hits everybody. I will buff her up. Nice miss, bro. This guy, maybe I will keep working on his sanity, but you know what? I, re I really want to get this guy dead. I really want to get the Berserker dead, but since this guy's right here, I can take some shots. See, this guy has an Impale attack. That's actually really good. And if he... Let's see. If he goes down, he actually heals the rest of the group that's alive. The Blood Phantasm. Uh, the death of a Blood Phantasm restores 33 vigor to his allies. So in the event that he actually goes down, uh, everyone else is going to get healed. So that's a good way to go out. Yikes. That 16 armor didn't, didn't help us there. He's insane already. That's pretty nice. Bloody puppet. So Turtle Stance gives him a ton of additional armor. Probably just want to have her start in with this. Oh, my darling, kill. It's just so much damage to everybody. You have to do it. Unless you need him to heal, she should probably be executing Rose for a Lady every time you have the rage for it. That's what works for me, at least. Sometimes I have her single target. But rarely. That'll set him on fire, too. I wish I would have got that guy's last HP. Oh no! That is bad. That is very bad. Well, now everybody's insane except for the guy in front. Delivered. Now they're all insane. What happens now? I, I just hope they kill each other before they kill my, uh... My lady here. Fate within flames. That worked out. Oh, what a miss. Don't you have a hundred percent accuracy? Uh, well, I you cost me her. Craft a few That's unfortunate. 
Okay. Nothing you do is really gonna help right now. Just keep lowering their <laughs> attack, I guess. Eventually we'll be able to hurt this guy, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, now it's just down to this guy with his incredible amount of defenses. That was an attack that was like mixed with physical and strength. At least he wants to flee, we should probably just let him do that. Within flames. But if we can kill him, we'll do that. So it's gonna be revenge killing at this point. No mercy. There we go. Another step towards Too bad we lost her, but kingdom. it looks like we got a five brain, so we can now just level another one up, I guess. Uh, up here, we could totally be training folks a little bit. The brains are a lot more useful. And now that we'll get 50% more brain, should be even better. Uh, the other guy I'm probably going to end up using is this Bone Golem. A Bone Golem is, com is a compromise. Normally, it is not possible to craft an undead such as this without an equally large body to serve as the foundation. And there are precious few giants around. Aratus discovered a way around this limitation. The golem is made up of several bodies, held together by the curse of entropy and decay, constantly crumbling and regenerating to maintain its form. Living in a constant cycle, these constructs would make for interesting subjects of philosoph philosophical study were they not far more effective as killing machines. Once it gets going, they can tank. Black White so is going to turn nice. They can tank or off tank, and they deal pretty decent damage. Uh, pretty solid. And we wanted to make another one of her. Only for me. I'm gonna spend my five brain here. Way. We'll just keep getting more and more of them at this point, guys. Now that we got that trait, 50% more brains, uh, we're gonna be eating a lot of brains. Get so. back to battle. Serve me well, there we go. my minion. Okay. Who did we heal up? Let's put you in the healer, you in. We will level you up, actually. Anybody else? Yes, you need to go. Okay, let's give him his level. He's got enough accuracy. Let's give him some I more attack. I expect results. And we can do something like this. I'm actually interested in the shade now. Let's do something like that for our next party. And I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. I hope you guys are still having fun with this one. I'm still having a ton of fun with it, as you could probably see. So we'll see you again real soon. Everybody take care and wish me luck.